you just want to talk with me, then I can go home. I promise you. I was contacted by Richard Bakken and Fred Coster, who was planning to do a Vietnamese movie about the Vietnam War, Ride the Thunder, to do some location scouting on Kualoa Ranch. We had a connection because Richard Bakken not only was a local boy who graduated from Punahou, but also he was a former Marine. And I was a former Marine and we got along great and he says, I need you and I want you as my line producer for Hawaii. And the budget for this film started off at $200,000. So I had to look at a lot of independent producers. So I started off with Colleen Connie Flores and I brought her on board to start the core base of an independent crew that could work for this budget. Audio's great. After talking to the director of photography and finding out what her needs were, I then found out that I need to bring in some of the union guys that I knew from the IATSC Local 665 to kind of handle a lot of the more technical issues. So we ended up making all the calls. We started calling all these people and surprisingly within about two weeks, we had a full crew, both art department, the prop guys, the camera crew, grip and electric, and we were ready to go. One of the main things that we needed, of course, was camera. So the producers and the DP was thinking about flying some cameras in and some lenses and, and whatnot. But we ended up showing them that we do have local people here that have camera equipment, like Vince Kiala Lucero, who gave us an epic red camera package for us to use to include all the lenses. Knowing who we were, he gave us a great deal to shoot this movie. Long live Ho Chi Minh! Long live Ho Chi Minh! Still show no gratitude! That is exactly what they want us to do. Fighting among each other. You listen to me. Look at me. I don't want to go home in a box. There are 700 of us with me. There are probably about 20,000 comedies over the river. But if we can all... Kualo Ranch had a Hawaiian village that's up in the main valley. And we had used that as part of the re-education camp in the movie. We also used other parts of Kualoa where the pond was and also some other places where we had an open field. But one of the, the ways that we saved money on the film was by using the old last resort set that was down by the Kualoa fish pond. And that helped us out a lot and gave us a lot of the setting that we needed without spending a lot of money on construction. One of the people that we were working with was Branscombe Richmond. He's a proponent for the film industry. And we ended up bringing him on as our first AD team. So he and his children, which was a great thing to have a, a local family deep into the film industry working on the movie. One of the good things that I like to see is local crew, not only working as like a laborer or maybe a set dresser, but working in the technical field. Our director of photography, Carmen Cabana, who's one of, I think, the best female director of photographers, saw that Branscombe Richmond's daughter was working as one of our PAs. And she asked me, can I have that young lady working in my camera department? And I told her, absolutely. She ended up going from PA to working as the second assistant camera on the film. This is probably some of the best types of work that you can do because it forces everybody to really learn every position. As the line producer, I don't think that I would have learned as much about making movies as I did. We have to create these hybrid crews of independents and union personnel. And in Hawaii right now, there's not as much movies that are shooting as we would like. So a lot of people are really out there looking to say, hey, I want to jump on this project. I want to do this project. And we created such a great team of crew members that my focus was to make sure that the DP and the executive great. producer had a great first day of shooting. And after that first day, the director, Fred Coster, was extremely happy. And that set the tempo for the rest of the movie. So for our two and a half week shoot that we did, I don't think that there was a day that they weren't happy with the footage that they got and that the crew that they were working with from Hawaii. But if you want to see where Ride the Thunder is going to be at, you can go to ridethethunder.com and they have a listing on there of all the theaters that it has played at and it's going to be playing at. In the near future, the producers are looking at 
the movie being screened here and played here in Hawaii and they're working out that distribution details right now. Is it worth supporting the Vietnamese in their fight against communism? Let me tell you, it is.